Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're looking at the F2A1. This is the premium plan that you can buy with tokens, and it will last inter-release. The pros and cons of the plane, it has very good HP for its tier. Its speed is actually faster than other planes in tier. It has very good climb because of its speed. The downsides are the gun range is relatively limited, and the gun damage is not quite what you'd hope for. We're in a tier 4 game, and we're going to see where the limitations of the gun, uh, both in terms of range and in terms of damage, are going to come into play. Diving on a Japanese plane, though, is pretty straightforward. He just has no HP, so we're taking him down very, very effectively. If you notice in the turn there, the plane tends to overspeed quite quickly when it gets to around 500 kmh, and that's achievable even in a, a very short dive, the plane will go into overspeed mode and become more difficult to control. However, this is what we call a quality problem. The plane retains its energy through turns incredibly well, which allows it to go into that overspeed mode. You can always bleed off speed if you want by cutting the engine or by engaging the flaps. Getting speed is the difficult part there, and we're using uh, that wonderful roll rate and it's a below average turn for a turn fighter at tier 3, but it's occupying that sweet space where the things that you can't outturn you can outclimb, and the things that you can't outclimb that you can outturn. So I think it's uh, very good defensively overall. Here you, we're using some of that nibbleness to get out of the firing lane of the heavy fighter, and then coming over on the top of him quite well. So we get a solid burst into him, but this is a tier 4 heavy, and it's really just not going to be enough. When he starts escaping into the vertical, I don't want to try to follow him too far, so I quickly give up pursuit. I don't have nearly enough boost. Uh, I notice the other heavy is coming at me, so we're going to try and dodge him here. And what we're doing is, I started out on one side of him, and I'm moving to the other side. The heavy roll rate is not that large, so even though you're not that far away from his reticle, uh, he has to roll and then begin the turn, and it's kind of a laborious process for them. So once you dodge in the light fighter, you have to make sure that you can get your guns active right away before they speed out of range. And range is very difficult on this plane since you're armed with, at best, one 12mm gun. Uh, once they hit about 400 plus meters, you should just effectively stop shooting because you're not going to do any meaningful damage. So if you're keeping score here, it is me in a tier 3 light fighter against two tier 4 heavy fighters, and I'm doing fairly well, putting some okay damage into them, and most of all, just surviving by being relatively hard to kill. Here you're seeing that range come into play where I just can't damage him that far out. Overall, I really enjoy the plane. The plane makes solid credits. It is actually my third highest tier 3 damaging plane. I've flown 9 of them in this patch. So I would definitely recommend to pick this up. It's a wonderful little platform. Maybe the guns are a tiny bit anemic, but uh, overall I think this is a keeper. Happy hunting!